Ready when you are. Mizuki-san, their time is up. Okay, go ahead and clean up the room, then count today's take. <phone rings> Front desk. The faucet's stuck? Well, just use the same bath water for the next customer. Yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind the sink. Make it cloudy enough, who'll notice? Hello, this is Otohime Land. Oh, Nanaha-chan. Hmm. Oh, really? So you're taking the day off. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? You're missing too much work. And if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. I mean, it sounds like a serious medical issue. And if it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care, huh? Seems like your life would be easier if he just died already. But I guess that's out of your control. Are you crying? Oh, come on. I only say these things because I'm your boss. I can't be your therapist, too. But come back in as soon as you feel better, okay? Bye. <sighs> I tell you, girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? Sorry. I don't think I want to be employed here. Ditto. Not a fan of anything I just heard. You out too, Kasuga? <sighs> so, you came all the way here just to insult me in my place of business? I'll have you know, Hello Work practically begged me to hire you three. They told me you'd be willing to do anything. I don't care what they told you. We've still got principles. Yeah, I'm grateful that Kanbei put in a good word, but uh, I pass. Plenty of other jobs out there. Let's go, Ichiban. Ichiban, what's the holdup? Come on, let's go. <sighs> you heard him on the phone, didn't you? I've been to my share of back alley soap lands, but this guy's got to be the worst I've ever seen. The girls don't deserve that kind of treatment. Huh. Hey, there a problem? You better not cause any trouble here. I'll call the Yakuza. We're with the Seiryu clan, you know? The Seiryu clan? You really sure you want to start something? <laughs> this is Seiryu clan territory? Well, this just got complicated. <sighs> hey, Kasuga, we need a scram. Uh, well, well, why Come are you on. looking at me like that? I'll call them. I will. Uh, uh. <clears throat> I'll take the job. I'll start anytime you want, boss. Huh? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Based on what I just heard, you got a lot of issues here, from plumbing to personnel. You need a hand, and I've got 16 years of direct experience in this industry. I know what works in these places, and I can even go scout some fresh talent for you. What do you say? Yeah, but what about those two? Prostitution's gotta go! No more Ichicho! Listen.
Well, damn. Right. <laughs> okay. Yep. Hey. Sup? Yo. Hey. What? Go. True. No. Go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sup? 
What's up? Oh. Yes. Huh? Uh. What was that? Yes. What? No. What? Okay. Hold on.
Okay. Get some answers out of her. I seriously doubt she'd ever admit to it. We should only interrogate her after we have proof. I say we trust the former detective on this one. Fine. Sorry, we're full right now. Oh, I'm meeting someone inside. He's sitting down with Nanoha. Maybe she's dating him on the side. Could be. Let's try an eavesdrop on their conversation. How do we do that? Can't hear anything out here. I got this. Kasuga, call me on your phone. Okay. I'm very sorry, but we're full right now. Please, can I just use the bathroom? Seriously, man, I'm about to piss myself. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Sorry you had to come all the way... Gotta be her other man. Hold your horses and see the transaction go down. Somehow I two million yen. Huh? Huh? Three million left to go then. If you'd ten days from now, we can carry out the procedure. But maybe we don't even Tell me your father deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. After all this time, don't you want that for him? No, please. I want Dad to have peace. But does it have to be? That's true, but you shouldn't cheap out. After all, don't you see the that's what you're paying us for. Oh, okay. It's just my father's... Oh? <laughs> First timer, huh? I'd like to see him one 
can't do that. But I feel so guilty. Please. I understand your concerns, but we're done here. Why did she give him money? And it was two million. Nothing to sneeze at. You think Nanoha-san's wrapped up in something bad? Like what? I don't know. I just have to ask her and find out. Oh, hey! Ow! Uh, uh, sorry. Hey, old man! Apologies don't fix much, you know. Yeah, how are you gonna make this right? He's got a broken bone. Come on, not this shit. Sorry, we're in a hurry. If you don't got time to do the right thing, get out your wallet and hand us a couple grand. Leave us alone, man. See ya. Not so fast! Go. Yeah. Social Welfare Corporation? Sounds like an old folks home. Pretty classy building, huh? It's from the Meiji era, as I recall. It used to be a bank. But I thought some non-profit foundation bought it decades ago. Sure looks luxurious for a non-profit. I can smell the money from out here. Okay, so... We know Nanoha's been working at the Soapland to pay for her dad's care, right? Yeah, so maybe this is where he's being taken care of. And also, maybe that man she met at the cafe is employed here. Well, then it would all make sense. 
She's paying that guy to keep her dad in a nice place. It's hardly shady. I don't care how classy the joint is. Nobody would pay two mil in cash. Plus, why would she pay her dad's rent at a cafe? Yeah, that's a good point. Remember what they said when we eavesdropped? She begged to see her dad, and it didn't move him at all. He just said no. Yes, this is the front desk of Sunlight Castle. Uh, is there a man living here with a daughter named Nanoha? Do you mean Nanoha Mokoda? Yes, her father is a resident here. How may I help you? We work with Nanoha at the same place of business. Can we come in? I'm sorry, but only family are allowed to visit. That was predictable. We're not here to see him, actually. The truth is, I'm looking for a home for my own father. Nanoha-san said your facility is great, so I wanted to check it out. I'm terribly sorry. You can't come inside unless accompanied by a current lessee. Really? Yes. If you wish to explore the layouts of our rooms, please visit our homepage online. You can submit questions on that page as well. It's very convenient. Goodbye. They don't even let you tour a room? Something's definitely shady about this place. Please take one. Huh? Hey, what you got there? 
Who knows? An ad for a sex shop or something. <laughs> Nothing a couple of penniless mooks like us need to worry about. Oh, 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 oh. Hold the phone. It says the first person to call gets free service. What? That sounds way too good to be true. They'll find some way to squeeze money out of you. I guarantee. Yeah, well, uh, we won't know until we call. Take it from the guy born out of soap land. It's a scam. Hey, now, things might have changed while you were locked up. Give it here. Yo, hold on! First person to call. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Hello, how can I help you? Yeah, hi. Uh, saw your ad. Said something about the first caller being free. Oh, yes! Thank you! You are the very first, so this one is indeed on us. <laughs> all right! And, uh, you're, you're sure it won't cost anything? Nope, nothing at all. Now may I please have your name and current location? Oh, right. It's uh, Koichi Adachi, and right now I'm kind of near Ohama Street. Oh, and that place can be quite dangerous, too. Understood. I'll send over our most popular employee right away. Ooh, your most popular? <laughs> oh, you guys really go all out with this first free caller thing, huh? We want you to know how great we are. Now then, we have them en route to your location. Huh? Well, you're sending someone to me? Like, not a hotel or something? Wait, is this one of those meet-up deals? So, how'd it go? <laughs> Get this. They're sending their most popular girl over here. For free. Whoa, really? No, oh, really, I swear. Look, sex shops will do anything to stay competitive. They said she'd be here soon. Sorry for the wait. Huh? <laughs> oh! What the? Who the heck are you? Are you, uh, Adachi Sama? Uh, yeah, that's me. Sorry for the wait. I'm Gary Buster Holmes from Poundmates. Poundmates? Is, is that a sex shop? <laughs> no, no. Poundmates sends people to help you fight. Help us fight? Hey, you shitheads are making way too much noise. That's it. I'm gonna shut you guys up. Oh, a handy group of punks. Just in time for your first call. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but let's go, Kasuga. Yeah. Go sideways. Gotta make it count. Don't get cocky. Who do I call? Get serious. Time to call a friend. I summon you. You want sudden death or sudden crisis? Service with the founding. Right hook, left hook, get wrecked! Thanks for calling Poundmates. Look at me go! Shit! They're too strong. Now, for the finish. Sudden death or suds on breasts? What's it gonna be? Uh, uh, we're sorry! Your free trial is over. Next time will cost money. Looking forward to it. Yeah, sure. Okay then, goodbye. What the hell just happened here? Fuck if I know. Man, why's it gotta be so hard to get laid? Houndmates, huh? Well, it ain't free, and I'm not sure it's sexy, but I think I can see the appeal. <laughs>
They charge 5 million yen just to start a lease? And then it's 500k every month? Even on Soapland wages, how the hell can she afford that? And take a look at this. They've got a program called the Excellent Course. Entry fee 20 million? Then a million a month? What in the actual fuck? Yeah, I hope that's one good VIP room. Mm. Don't tell me her dad's enrolled in the Excellent Course. I can't imagine he is. Oh, <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is the only family she has. He's the reason she got a job at a big corporation. And he's the reason she works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. It doesn't surprise me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, I knew she put him somewhere expensive, but this is just crazy. No matter how much you love someone, you've got to set some boundaries. I'm starting to think this was never about a guy she was dating. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. I worry about all my employees. But once they clock out, I can't help them. And I hate that. Especially the girls who have such troubled pasts. You never know if they're doing okay or not. That's why I'm strict about how much time they take off. I worry. So you have a good reason to keep them working so much. And here I thought you were just a huge asshole. <laughs> I guess you can stop your investigation now. She might be putting herself in danger. But if she's doing it for her dad, I really have no right to interfere. It's her life. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. From work? Oh, I think it's something else. Nanoha is her father's guarantor. I'm sure of that. It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. And you guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home? Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. Maybe she still owes them money. And until she pays, they won't let her see her dad. That's fucked up. Yeah, but it might be true. Nationwide, more than one out of every five people is elderly. And there are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. Even if an establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. I think I know what happened. They accepted her dad, told her she could pay the entry fee in installments, and then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. They just want their money as soon as possible. That's just... so cruel. Plenty of bastards in the world who do it without a second thought. No wonder her health is bad. Who could deal with that kind of pressure? And by taking time off, she'll lose income. She'll end up being late on her payments. Damn. At that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. And there's another thing that could happen that's even worse. What's that? Depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they could kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. That sounds to me like they can do whatever they damn well please. Even to the residents who are paid up. I don't understand how they get away with this shit. Please! None of us needs to understand it. All that matters is saving Nanoha's dad! Boss, we can't save him. 
There's no way. Sure, we all want to, but... I mean, they won't even let the guy's own daughter in. The place is pretty much on lockdown. I just don't see a way around that. I think I see a way around it. What? Boss, you okay with us working a second job? Uh, huh? The three of us could work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to infiltrate the place by getting jobs there? How do we get them to hire us? Well, we're sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. Yes! It's a great idea. I'll call Kanbei and make it happen. I think we can do this! We can save Nanoha's father! Wow. <laughs> yeah.
Hey, Sonny. Don't recall seeing you around. Are you new? Yeah, I'm from a temp agency. Name's Namba. <sighs> How nice to have a new doctor. Wonderful. Actually, I'm a nursing assistant. And just temporarily. You say you do physical therapy? <laughs> Sounds fun. Um, listen, Granny. Let me ask you. Well, there's a guy living here named Makota. You know him by any chance? He's pretty old. Has a daughter. Oh. What time are we having breakfast? Uh, well, it's already past noon. Oh, here is fine. Thank you, officer. Hey, did you find anything out? Nope. I haven't seen any guys who were likely to be Nanoha's dad. I gotta say, the care in this place actually seems pretty damn good. There's plenty of staff. Their medical equipment is top-notch. Uh, they've got a security system, and guards, too. They ain't skimping on safety. How many times do I have to tell you? I want these toilets so clean you'd let your mother drink out of them! Put some elbow grease into it, for goodness sake! Stop slacking off! Why am I the only one on toilet duty? <laughs> Why do you think? Well, you're not qualified to do anything else. Did you find her dad? Nah, not even a lead. You find anything? The only thing I've seen all morning is toilets. That woman's a slave driver. Maybe her dad's in a special room for the Excellent Course residents. Oh yeah, that crazy expensive program. Mm, doubtful. I found out more about that program. It has super strict requirements. I don't think she would have met them. For example, you have to do a bunch of interviews to qualify. Interviews? Yeah, I don't know exactly what they ask, but... I bet it's all about your family and social standing. Uh, rumor has it, the program only lets in big shots from the financial sector. So, even if she had the money, I don't think she would pass the interviews. Still, none of us have seen this special room yet, right? <sighs> no, because how are we supposed to do that? Well, obviously, they're gonna have their best security on the Excellent Course residents. I heard only full-time staff are allowed to work with that clientele. But where the hell are those residents kept? Top floor. And to get up there, you need one of the full-timers' keycards. Hey! Quit chatting and get back to work! Yes, ma'am. Right away. Good work. Bet you didn't know toilet cleaning could take up a whole day, did you? So many toilets. That's what you need in a place this big. You're gonna have to pick up the pace tomorrow. We still need to do the top floor, don't we? That floor is for excellent course residents. It's, uh, off-limits to us contractors. Oh, damn it! I, I think I forgot something in the bathroom. Mind if I go get it? Fine, but get it together. You're a mess. I'm so sorry. Uh, you can go on ahead and I'll catch up, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, just hurry up.
need to be scared, ma'am. Just relax. It'll be over soon. Good night now. Okay. Okay. Hold on. What was that? Yo. Yeah. Three million left to go then. If you just remit that amount, ten days from now, we can start to carry out the procedure. Oh. I see. Damn. Hold on.
Sure. いらっしゃいませ。Who's hungry? Me. Tasty. ありがとうございました。
Moving up in the world. This the place you're a regular at? Yep. It's just you. <laughs> yeah, such great customer service, huh? No wonder this place is always empty. This place? I only run it for fun. Kinda prefer it empty, in fact. <laughs> Bullshit. Hey there, Dachi-san. Hey, Iroha-chan. Who are your friends? Some guests of mine. Kasuga and Namba. Hey. You never bring anyone with you. In fact, is this a first? Uh, I guess it is, now that you mention it. That must mean you actually like them, huh? <laughs> Hell no. You wouldn't catch me hanging with these knuckleheads unless I had to. <laughs> you're so cute when you're embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> give me a break. Anyway, listen. I've got a request. Hang on. Let me guess. You want me to add their drinks on your tab. <laughs> oh, you know me so well. Uh, you mind, though? I promise I'll make them come back as paying customers. Oh, good grief. You really an ex-cop? <sighs> you win this time. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, let's get to drinking. Hey, what's up with Namba? We barely get started and he passes out? He's probably just tired. Can't blame him after everything we did today. Tomorrow's only gonna be worse. But you know, for some reason, being around you makes it feel like it'll work itself out. Oh yeah? You must be pretty wasted if you're handing out compliments. But I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm barely even feeling a buzz. Oh, he's drunk all right. Drunk on the rush of a hot and steamy friendship. <laughs> Iroha-chan, that was two feet over the line, and you know it. Don't poke an old bear, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Yo, Adachi-san. What's that you're drinking? <laughs> hey, keep it down, will ya? Why? Oh. Is that convenience store sake? Shh, you don't have to announce it to everyone and their mother. You brought your own drink to a bar? Hell yeah! It cost an arm and a leg to get a good bus going here. That's why I got this little lovely at a store down the street. <laughs> you ought to do the same. Show your wallet some tender love and care. Sure, I don't mind bringing my own booze, but I wouldn't be hiding it. But then the bartender might find you out. Eh, I'd take the risk. I don't want to bother with trying to hide a drink while I'm having fun. Wish I could be so carefree. <laughs> well, now I have to buy you a drink, pal. That's what carefree people do. Hey, thanks. Speaking of money, what they did to you was fucked up, man. Discharge right before your retirement? Ah, it ain't so bad. At least I get to know I was canned for sticking it to fucking Horonouchi. My opinion? That's better than just staying on the force and turning a blind eye. 
Let me see if I remember this correctly. You and Hori no Uchi first crossed paths during a case 20 years ago. Yeah, and it was a nasty one. Robbery and double homicide of some sweet old couple. My team found a suspect and made an arrest. Man by the name of Kasumi. He had a mile-long rap sheet, burglaries and shit. Plus, he had no alibi for the time of the murder. But in the end, he was innocent. Yeah. I finally figured that out from his son. His son? Kasumi had a wife and kid. Kid was five years old at the time. His name was Takashi. The little guy told us he'd been on a walk with his dad at the time the homicides were committed. Of course, there's always a chance that the relatives will lie in the hope of saving their family. So HQ was prepared to ignore Takashi's testimony. I was too at first. But the more time that passed, my thoughts kept coming back around to what the little boy said. And even after Kusumi was arrested, I kept looking into it. I finally found the owner of a cigarette shop. Told me he saw Kasumi walking with Takashi at the time of the crime. Takashi's testimony was legit all along. I contacted HQ right away and requested Kasumi's release. But Horu no Uchi made sure it never happened. And he was able to do that because he was top dog at the Kanagawa police back then, right? Yeah. And don't forget, he'd just been offered a job with the Tokyo police, so... He was desperate to cover up any recent blunders like a wrongful arrest. He shipped poor Kasumi off to prison, knowing full well the man was innocent. Next thing I know, Kasumi's killed himself in his cell. So Hori no Uchi was willing to sacrifice people's lives just to advance his own career. Yeah, I'm starting to understand why you got so much beef with him. Uh, I got beef with myself, too. I'm partly responsible for what happened. If only I'd believed Takashi's testimony from the start, the arrest wouldn't have happened in the first place. You don't know that for sure. No one else believed the testimony either. Yeah, but I'm the one who interviewed the kid. Let me tell you, even after all this time, I still can't forget his face. Man. But couldn't you have just leaked the fact the charges were false? You know, to the news? I gotta assume that'd be your way of atoning for Takashi-kun, right? <laughs> well, you're not as dumb as you look, Kasuga. That's exactly what I thought at the time. But I screwed it up. Didn't choose the right people to leak to, so... I got swept off to the license center faster than the leak got swept under the rug. Worst fuck-up of my life. Don't be so hard on yourself, Adachi-san. Sorry. Really killed the mood, didn't I? <laughs> it's okay. A true friend doesn't care how many moods you kill. <laughs> You know, for an ex-Yakuza, you can say some cheesy shit, but it's sweet. What do you mean by that? Yakuza's all about brotherhood. Well, all I know is if I'd had a brother like you on the force with me, my life might have turned out different. Ah, but if the cops were anything like me, this whole country would be fucked sideways by now. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> you weren't supposed to agree with that. <laughs> Anyway, let's have another drink. On you, if you don't mind. Fine. Hey, bartender, can we get another round? <laughs> well, it's about that time, I guess. Aw, leaving already? Sorry, Iroha-chan. We got a big day tomorrow. Yo, Namba. You gonna crash on the bar or you wanna head back? <laughs> I like the vibe of this place, though. Me coming back is another thing you can count on. Sure. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Nobody else does. And listen. Take care of him. Sorry? Let's just say he's not usually a happy drunk. I guess that means he has a soft spot for you guys. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I know the guy. He's a good for nothing, but he's good at heart, too. So keep your friends close, you hear? I can do that. Hey, Kasuga! What's the holdup? Let's go! Oh, sorry! Well, see you later.
<laughs> Thanks for stopping by. I feel the stats 
going up! <laughs> This isn't break time. On to the next bathroom. You're even slower than yesterday. I'm going. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Hey, watch where you're going, janitor! Hello, Director. The woman's father. His name's Tatsuro Mokoda, correct? Understood. I'll carry it out immediately. Yes. Don't worry. Yes, he's out like a light. General anesthesia. Here we go. You know. Most people hope and pray that they'll die in their sleep. You're one of the lucky ones who actually gets to do it. Stop! Who are you? How did you get in here? Koda. This is Nara's dad for sure. Sir, wake up. Let's get you out of here. Damn. I didn't waste any time. What are you doing here? Contractors aren't allowed. Explain yourselves now. Hey, calm down. Can't you recognize your own uniform? Give me a break. You're not one of us. No, we aren't. Because you're not nursing home guards. Not with that kind of weaponry. I bet you've got a lot of ink underneath those uniforms. Since you're from the Seiryu clan. Hmm. Huh. So, you did your homework. We know everything, man. Even what the Seiryu clan has been doing in this room. Well, good. That makes our decision easy. We'll have to kill you and the patient! Line up. Battle's on! Cool! Nah, cool man, fight. I am. Don't get cocked, you wanna fight? Come on, now! I got the new Yeah, let's go! I'm up! Get Go to the Oh yeah! He's there! Go there! Yeah, come in! I got this! Yeah! Okay. Let's go! Next 
Let's grab her dad and get the hell out of here. Hey, what was that drug you were about to inject him with? It was potassium chloride. Holy fucking shit. Do you know what it does? They use it overseas. For executions. The doctor was trying to kill her dad? Now that must have been how they killed the old woman. We got to him just in time. Guys, we ain't out of the woods yet. That's the guy from the cafe. Who is he? We're about to have our chance to ask him. He's coming this way. You all just made the biggest mistake of your lives. I hope you know that. Who are you? The director of this facility. And don't play dumb. I know what else you know about me. You mean how you're with the Seiryu clan? Yes. I'm Totsuka, from the Ryuto family. The Seiryu clan held its own against the Omi takeover. That made me think you guys must be pretty hardcore. And yet here you are, murdering old people for money. Where's the Yakuza's honor in you? The Seiryu clan is doing what must be done, for the good of society. You have no idea what burden we've taken on. Killing our elders for society's good? Go fuck yourself! You better let all the residents here go free right now, or I'll tell the whole world what you're really doing here! You're welcome to try, but that would require you to walk out of here alive. And killing you is no inconvenience to me. I've got enough chemicals to melt down all your bodies! Let's do it! Cool! Bring it! Check this out! Okay. You're in it now. Let's go. I'm up. Code it. I got it. Put it. Get 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 alive. Come on now. Yeah. Let's go. You're in it now. I got I'm fucking pissed. Check this out. Okay. Wanna start something? I'll beat your ass. Ready for this? Come on now. Get yeah. I'm fucking pissed. Wanna start something? I'm up! Going in! Oh, 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 yeah! Take a better shot! Let's oh, 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 go! God damn! 
Who the hell are you guys? Don't make me say it again! Let all the residents go! I'm afraid I just can't do that. Then we'll do it. We'll move them all out. <laughs> oh, shit. It won't open. I activated the emergency lockdown. That door won't open until this time tomorrow. What? You've lost. So stop fighting me. And maybe, just maybe, I won't call the police. I won't explain to them how our home for nice, well-to-do elderly people is being robbed by three thugs. What kind of Yakuza calls the cops? You're a stain on your family. Call me what you want, but if I call the cops, you're done. I suggest you give up and get out. Maybe instead, I'll rat you out. Oh, yeah? Uh, Ichiban? Rat him out to who? The Seiryu chairman. We just need to pay him a visit at their HQ. We'll go tomorrow, bright and early, and get the chairman to fix all of this. Don't you fucking dare! This is my business, not the chairman's! If you breathe a word, I'll kill you! So you're that scared of the chairman, huh? So? So, you're coming with me, you spineless worm. Huh? Yeah, you're gonna take me there yourself. Because if you refuse to come along, I'm gonna tell the big scary chairman everything you did. And maybe, some things you didn't, too. <sighs> I mean, look at yourself. Doing business like this in the name of the Seiryu clan? As a Yakuza, you accept consequences for your actions. So... does this mean we have to go? Listen. Got it. Should I open it? Sweet! I can use this key to open up safes. I should probably keep an eye out for these safes if I find any more keys.
いらっしゃいませ。Who's hungry? Me. Ah, tasty. ありがとうございました Okay. 